So I'm going to be continuing the Snowball Bible reading plan that I've been doing. So I'm going to be reading out of the scriptures. Uh, we're going to start with Ruth, and that's going to be on page 791. We'll just get right into it. All right, and it came to be in the days when the rulers ruled that there was a scarcity of food in the land, and a man from Bethlehem, Yehuda, went to sojourn in the fields of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife was Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malan and Kylan, Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Yehuda. And they went to the fields of Moab and came to be there. And Elimelech, husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. And they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Ophah, or Orpa, and the name of the other, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. And Malan and Kylan, Kylian also died both of them so the woman was the woman was bereaved of her two sons and of her husband and she rose up and her daughters her daughters-in-law and returned from the field of moab for she had heard in the fields of moab that yahweh had visited his people in giving them bread and she left the place where she where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her and they went on the way to return to the land of Yehuda. And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. Yahweh show loving commitment to you, as you have shown to the dead and to me. Yahweh grant that you find rest, each in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, No, we shall go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, Go back, my daughters. Why go with me? Have I still sons in my womb, that they should become your husbands? Go back, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have, I have expectancy, even if I should have a husband tonight and should also bear a son. Would you wait for them until they were grown? Would you shut yourselves up not to have a husband? No, my daughters, for it is much more bitter for me than for you, because the hand of Yahweh has gone out against me. And they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her mighty ones. Go back, follow your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to go back from following after you. For wherever you go, I go. And wherever you stop over, I stop over. Your people is my people and your Elohim is my Elohim. Where you die, I die. And there I shall be buried. Yahweh do, all, do so to me, and more also, for death itself part you and me. And when she saw that she was strengthening herself to go with her, she ceased to speak to her. And both of them went until they came to uh, Bethlehem. Bethlehem. And it came to be when they had come to Bethlehem, that all the city was moved because of them. And they said, Is this Naomi? And she said to them, Do not call me Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty has dwelt very bitterly with me. I went out filled, and Yahweh was brought, has brought me back empty. Why do you call me Naomi, since Yahweh has witnessed against me? And the Almighty has done evil to me. 
Thus Naomi returned and Ruth, and Ruth the Moabitess, her daughter-in-law with her, who, who returned from the field of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem at the beginning of barley harvest. Chapter 2. And Naomi had a relative on her husband's side, a man of great wealth of the clan of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz, and Ruth the Moabitess said to Naomi, Please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him whose eyes I find favor. So she said to her, Go, my daughter. And she left, and went and gleaned in the field after the reapers. As it turned out, she came to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, the near relative of Elimelech. And see, Boaz had come from Bethlehem and said to the reapers, Yahweh be with you. And they answer, answered him, Yahweh bless you. And Boaz said to his servant, Who has appointed over the reapers? Whose young woman is this? So the servant who was appointed over the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the fields of Moab. And she said, Please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the reapers. And she came and has remained from morning until now. She sat a little in the house. And Boaz said to Ruth, You have heard, oh, you have heard, have you not, my daughter? Do not go to glean in another field nor go from here, but stay close to my young women. Let your eyes be on the field which they reap, and you shall go after them. Have I not commanded the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. And she fell on her face, bowed down to the ground, and said to him, Why have I found favor in your eyes? that you should take notice of me, seeing I am a foreigner. And Boaz answered and said to her, I have, I have been told, I have been told all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, and how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know before. Yahweh repay your work and your reward is complete from Yahweh Elohim of Israel under whose wing you have come to seek refuge. And she said, Let me find favor in your eyes, my master, because you have comforted me and have spoken to the heart of your female servant, though I am not like one of your female servants. And Boaz said to her, Come here at mealtime. Then you shall eat of the bread and dip your piece of bread in the vinegar. Good morning, Sawson. And she sat beside the reapers, and he passed roasted grain to her, and she ate and was satisfied, and had leftover. And she rose up to glean, and Boaz commanded his young men, saying, let her glean even among the sheaves, and do not uh, embarrass her. Rather, draw out from the bundles for her, and leave it for her to glean, and do not restrain her. And she gleaned in the field until even, evening, and beat out that which she had gleaned, and it was about an ephah of barley. And she took it up and went into the city, and her mother-in-law saw that she had gleaned, what she had gleaned, and she brought out and gave to her what she had left over after she was satisfied. Then her mother-in-law asked her, Where have you gleaned today, and where did you work? Blessed be the one who took notice of you. And she told her mother-in-law of whom she had worked, and said, The name of the man I work today with is Boaz. And Naomi said, to her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of Yahweh, 
who has not forsaken his loving commitment to the living and the dead. And Naomi said to her, The man is a relative of ours, one of our redeemers. And Ruth the Moabitess said, He also said to me, Stay close to my young people until they have completed all my harvest. And Naomi said to Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, and you go out with the young women, and that they do not meet you in any other field. And she stayed close by the young women of Boaz to glean, till the completion of barley harvest and wheat harvest. But she dwelt with her mother-in-law. Chapter 3 And Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, should I not seek rest for you, so that it is well with you? And now is not Boaz with those young women you have been our relative? See, he is winnowing barley tonight at the threshing floor. And you shall bathe and anoint yourself and put your garment on and go down to the threshing floor. Do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. And it shall be when he lies down that you shall note that you shall notice the place where he lies and shall go in and uncover his feet and lie down and let him make known to you what you should do. And she said to her, All that you say to me, I do. And she went down to the threshing floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law commanded her. And Boaz ate and drank, and his heart was glad, and he went to lie down at the end of the heap of grain. And she came softly and uncovered his feet and lay down. And it came to be at midnight that the man was startled and turned himself and saw a woman lying at his feet and said, Who are you? And she answered, I am Ruth, your female servant. Now you shall spread the corner of your garment over your female servant, for you are a redeemer. And he said, Blessed are you of Yahuwah, my daughter, for you have shown more loving commitment at the end than at the beginning. Not to go after young men, whether poor or rich. And now, my daughter, do not fear. All that you say I do for you, for all the people of my town know that you are a capable woman. And now it is true that I am your Redeemer. However, there is a Redeemer nearer than I. Stop overnight, and in the morning it shall be that if he does not redeem you, that if he does redeem you, good, let him redeem. But if he does, is not pleased to redeem you, then I shall redeem you as Yahweh lives. Lie down until morning. And she lay at his feet until morning, and she arose before he, one could recognize another. And he said, Let it not be known that a woman came to the threshing floor. And he said, Bring the shawl that is on you and hold it. So she held it, and he measured six measures of barley and said, and laid it on her. And she went into the city, and when she came to her mother-in-law, she said, Is that you, my daughter? And she explained to and she explained to her all that the man had done for her. And she said, He gave me these six measures of barley. For he said to me, Do not go empty handed to your mother in law. And she said, Wait, my daughter, until you know how the matter falls, and the man is not going to rest until he has completed the matter this day. Chapter 4 And Boaz went up to the gate and sat down there, and see the Redeemer of whom Boaz had spoken, spoken came by. And Boaz said, Turn aside, so and so, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit down here. So they sat down. He then said to the Redeemer, Naomi, who has come back from the field of Moab, sold the piece of land which belonged to our brother Elimelech. And I thought that I should disclose it to you, saying, Buy it back in the presence of the inhabitants and the elders of my people. If you do redeem it, redeem it. But if you do not redeem it, inform me 
so that I know. For there is no one but you to redeem it, and I am next after you. And he said, I redeem it. And Boaz said, On the day you buy this field from the hand of Naomi, you shall also acquire Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to rise up in the name of the dead on his inheritance. And the Redeemer said, I am not able to redeem it for myself, lest I ruin my own inheritance. Redeem my right redeem my right of redemption for yourself for i am not able to redeem it and this was formally done in israel concerning redeeming the exchange to confirm every word one man took off his sandal and gave it to another and this was a witness in israel so the redeemer of boaz buy it, uh, so the redeemer said to boaz buy it for yourself then he took off his sandal and boaz said to the elders and to all the people, you are witness this day that I have bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Kylan's and Malan's from the hand of Naomi. And also Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Malan, I have acquired as my wife to raise up the name of the dead on his inheritance, so that the name of the dead should not be cut off from among his brothers and from the gate of his place. You are witnesses today. And all the people who were at the gate and the elders said, Witnesses, Yahweh make the woman who is coming to your house as Rahel and as Leah, the two who built the house of Israel, and prove your worth in Ephrathah, and proclaim the name of Bethlehem. And let your house be like the house of Peretz, who, whom Tamar bore to Yehuda, and the seed which Yahweh does give you, sorry, and the seed which Yahweh does give you from this young woman. And Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife, and he went into her, and Yahweh granted her conception, and she bore a son. And the woman said to Naomi, Blessed be Yahweh who has not left you this day without a redeemer, and let his name be proclaimed in Israel. And he shall be to you a restorer of life and a sustainer of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. And the woman, her neighbors, gave him a name, saying, there is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He was the father of Yishai, the father of David. And this is the genealogy of Peretz. Peretz brought forth Hetron, Hetron brought forth Ram, and Ram brought forth Aminadab, and Aminadab brought forth Nashon, and Nashon brought forth Salmon, and Salmon brought forth Boaz. And Boaz brought forth Obed, and Obed brought forth Yishai, and Yishai brought forth David. That's uh, the book of Ruth. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. Shalom, guys.